Hi there, my name's Dr. Ian Dunbar. I think there's a number of really pressing issues in dog training that we have to address as, as soon as possible. Um, basically, number one, I think we're wasting puppyhood. Number two, um, dog training has lost its soul and a lot of its scientific base. And number three, I don't think we're really doing the job of uh, teaching dogs so we have verbal control uh, when the dog is off leash. So firstly, puppies, I think we're absolutely still wasting puppyhood. We're not doing one-tenth of the training, one-hundredth of the socialization, or one-thousandth of the classical conditioning, and so puppies simply aren't prepared for adolescence. They, they, they don't stand a chance. And so they develop very predictable problems. They don't listen to their owners. They don't come when called. Um, they're hyperactive. They become fearful towards people and they become reactive towards dogs. The issues of, of science-based training, I, I think we're failing to adhere to some of the most basic principles. Um, namely, the feedback is binary that uh, it, it's really that simple. I mean, we go back to Edward Lee Thorndike, that when the dog gets it right, you praise or reward. When the dog gets it wrong, you reprimand or you punish. And of course, you do this in a way that's not fearful or, or not painful, and it instructs the dog how to get back on track again. But I think so many trainers are either predominantly reward trainers and we never use punishments, or they mainly use punishments and they seldom use lures and rewards. When trainers and owners do try to adhere to some you know, scientific principles, I think they do it with no soul. It's like the soul is going out of dog training. It, all the feedback is non-instructive and it, it's quantum. It's clicks, it's, it's food pellets, it's, it's jerks, it's electric shocks. And, and I think, why are we doing this? And it, it's largely because most learning theory came from the laboratory where computers trained rats and pigeons. And of course, computers had to use quantum feedback. All they had to give feedback is a food pellet or electric shock. Uh, we have so much more. Number one, we can't emulate a computer. We don't have the computing power and we don't have the consistency. But number two, we can do much, so much better because we have a voice. And when we use our voice in training, it actually now we can transcend many of the constraints of, of basic laboratory generated uh, learning theory. The third issue is we're not training dogs to criterion. To, to me, the whole point of training is to teach a dog to do things on cue, to put doggy behaviors on cue, to teach the dog English as a second language so he knows what we want him to do, and then to motivate him so now the dog wants to do it. And I think so many owners out there are being taught just very basic beginner lure reward training, uh, clicker training, but they never get beyond that. You know, week six in class, they still have a food treat in their hand or they, they still have a clicker. And, and, and so now we're actually bribing the dog. And, and when we ask him to sit, the dog looks at us and says, oh, do you have a, a food lure in your hand? Or do you have a clicker in your hand and a food pouch on? Because if you do, I, I may do it when I'm ready. But if you don't, I won't. And, and that's what not, what, that is not what all this was about. We wanted to teach dogs verbal control, off leash, at a distance, when the dog is very, very distracted. So there are a whole load of pressing issues in dog training that we need to address um, really quickly. And, and all of these will be the topics of my new seminar series in, in the United States, uh, science-based dog training with feeling.